we talk about the events that are involved in what DNA replication, right? Events involved in DNA replication. The full question was what? Discuss the events of DNA replication, all right? So the thing is simple as this. If you know the if you know what is meant by replication, replication is like you have this thing here, so you are trying to make another version of that thing exactly like it. Do you understand? So it's just like for the boys watching this video, I've touched another flu. So if you want to get to a girl, just say that she's a replica of her mom and she'll blush, right? So talk about the steps involved in DNA replication. That's what formation of new DNA. Can you see this DNA, this old DNA, they are unwinding it and they are now forming what? Two other new DNAs that look like it. This is a parental what? This is a parental DNA, sorry. Parental DNA and this is like the key. So you are forming what? The keys from this DNA. So what are the processes involved in this, right? So the process is this. We have the initiation. We have the unwinding. Let's start developing mnemonics already. IU. That's what initiation and unwinding, right? Then we have the lead strand synthesis, then the lagging strand synthesis. That's LL. All right. So lead before lag. All right. Then we have the elongation, then termination. All right. That's E C. All right. E um, C. All right. So these are mnemonics for understanding or remembering all the steps involved in what DNA replication, right? initiation, unwinding, unwinding, right? Leading strand synthesis, lagging strand synthesis, right? Then uh, elongation, then termination. I-U-L-L-T, just L-L-E-T, right? Just get that, All right? So let's define and talk about the process. So DNA replication is a semi-conservative process, all right? Semi-conservative means what? Nothing is destroyed. All right. It involves unwinding of the double helix and the synthesis of a new complement strand. Okay. So as you are unwinding this one, there's an enzyme here. There's a helicase. It's like cutting this one off. All right. Why they are now forming new ones. All right. And this is a lagging strand. This is a leading strand that we are talking about. So everything will be quite simple. The first process known as what initiation. All right. This is a replica fork formation. All right. So helicase will now be unwinding the DNA. What is eating the DNA up here to unwinding this word helicase? You can see the helicase here. All right. So now there'll be binding of replica proteins. Okay. There'll be binding of replica proteins. All right. Then there'll be synthesis of RNA primer. All right. So the primers add short RNA segments to it. Okay. Then the next process known as what unwinding. Well, it's still the same thing, all right? Helicase separates the DNA strands, unwind it. Then topo isomerase relaxes the supercoiling. You know, the DNA is what? Coiled on it, right? So topo isomerase is one of the enzymes that will help to relax it while the helicase was separated, all right? So single strand binding proteins will stabilize the unwound DNA. All right, you know, the DNA is unwound, but There'll be no problems because you have some one or two things trying to stabilize it. Okay. Then moving to the next one now, which is what formation of the leading strand. All right. Formation of the leading strand is that the DNA polymerase reads the template strand. All right. So now there's a continuous synthesis of leading strand, right? The RNA primer is removed and then replaced with what DNA. Do you understand? Like here. The RNA primer is supposed to be stabilizing it here, all right? So as the DNA is being formed this way, the RNA primer will be removed so that the DNA will now have a place to pass. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Then there's formation of a lagging strand, all right? So said so that what this continuous synthesis of short segments, that's what Okazaki fragments. Yep. Like it's discontinued. Do you know what is discontinued? Like it is formed and there's a space between the main one, all right? So this one has to come and join up, all right? So there, if there's formation of this new or, 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 or Kazaki fragment, 
it will be formed here, it will be discontinued with the initial one. It's after it formed, the initial one come and join it. All right. So there's what formation of discontinued or fragments, that's Okazaki fragment. The RNA primer will be removed so that the DNA will have a place to pass, right? DNA ligase will now seal the gaps between this flag fragment. Like I told you guys, all right, this fragment will be formed up here. Before, can you see this one? All right, can you see? Can you see all these gaps? So for the gaps to be filled, is DNA ligase that actually initiate that, right? It's a very nice image again to actually look at. Okay, then moving to the next now. Mm, elongation. The DNA polymerase will add nucleotides to the growing strands, all right? Proofreading and editing, it will now be correcting errors. So it's when all these errors are not connected and mm, corrected. That's when you have all those genetic, genetic inherited diseases, all right? So there'll be proofreading, will be elite editing. I'll be making sure that right, the DNA is fine, all right? Then there'll be a synthesis of a new DNA strand, all right? Termination is after all the process, it has to stop, right? So replica fork will collapse. DNA ligase will seal all the holes, okay, that are made on the Okazaki fragment. Then there's a completed replica of the DNA molecule, all right? So I think that's it for what? The event of DNA replication, right? The mnemonics again, I stands for what? initiation, U stands for unwinding, L stands for leading strand, the other L stands for lagging strand, E stands for elongation, C stands for termination, right?